Hey YouTube, it's Tracy at Squeak GT again. So I am back to show you my um, wreath that I made. Um, it's actually going to go to my mom for Mother's Day. And I think I might make another one to put up in the archiver store here where I work so that people can see what the cameo does because I know this flower is one that we sell at the store because we do custom cuts now. Um, so anyways, I got my Paper Source magazine in the mail and there was their wreath and I thought that is so pretty um, I haven't made the middle yet and I'm not sure I'm gonna put anything in the middle but I thought I can make one of these for my mom so I did and that is um, her Mother's Day wreath and so you'll see each flower and I just use the different colors cream pink you know a bolder pink and the green leaves but it ended up turning out pretty good and then uh, the ribbon like I told you I used the Maya Road ribbon and I grabbed some more because I want to make I'm actually gonna make oh and it's a different color pink oh I like that even more so here's what one of the flowers looks like close up you can see all the different layers that are in there and then I just used some um, stickles in the middle just to you know add a little bit more I think right here is one that I want to push down. So I'm still playing with them, making them, yeah, you know, making them form. So anyways, that's where my McGill set came in because what you do is when you get, you can see the pens, and I'll, here's some of the leaves that I cut that I left over. But I'll show you, let's see if I can tip this, um, and some of you might already know what, what to do with this. But you take these, and the ends of these are all different sizes of the ball rollers. And so if you want, like on my flowers, I wanted them to curl, you just start circular motion. There goes all my washi. And you will create a dimension and see how it starts to curl on your leaf, on your flower, whatever. Now that's me using the flat end. If I wanted, you know, if I wanted to get like crazy because I don't like sitting here rubbing this thing for so long, but you can do smaller strokes and really break down the paper and then that just gives, you can see the difference, I'll show you the texture, see the difference in the texture and it just starts to give the, the leaf um, a little dimension uh, so it makes it look kind of real. Yeah, so fun, didn't take me that long, I was pretty surprised. But I just used a regular piece, let me put all this back, a regular piece of chipboard, just like that, and I cut the corners off. And you'll see on the back of this, nothing fancy, nothing perfect. I just cut a circle and then cut the corners. Oh look, ha, I was trying my silver washi. I was actually going to wrap the whole thing in my washi and then I kind of got like, um, yeah, like territorial. I was like, I don't use it all because I would use the whole roll. So yeah, nothing big. And then I just placed my flowers, you know, big one, big one, big one, big one. And then slowly started putting in the green leaves and then placing a flower. And I used to glue all my flowers together. This is the glue that I use. It just rocks. I mean, it just like you put it on, it's glued. So if you make a mistake, yeah, you're kind of done for. And then I'll put this back up. I'm gonna move my camera. Gosh, it never moves the right way. All right, there we go. So then, um, yeah, I hot glued the flowers on, um, hot glued the ribbon on so that it'll hang. And that is my masterpiece. Isn't that great? I just had so much fun. I used crystal stickles. I love the crystal. I think it's because it's so blingy, but the, the glitter inside it is so small. I just love it. Um, yeah, that is my that is my wonderful, fun Mother's Day inspiration. Um, I actually have an extra flower, and I think I might do that and just make it into a pin and wear it on my apron at work. Isn't that fun? That sounds like a fun idea. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm still there. So anyways, thanks again for watching YouTube. If you have any questions, um, put them down below. I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Sometimes it just takes me a little longer because of my two classes and working and dealing with my four children. So 
Uh, have a beautiful day. It's sunny and gorgeous here in Georgia, about 80 degrees. I don't know what it is by anybody else. Looks like where I'm from in the north, it's cold, so I'm glad I'm not there. Yeah, anyways, okay, it's uh, Thursday. I'm off. You guys have a great day. We'll chat soon.